News Channel. In the meantime, there is news in the Lacey Peterson case. A judge is now saying that Scott Peterson's defense team can examine the bodies of Lacey and her unborn son. Now, one theory that the defense is suggesting is that a sat satanic cult killed them in some sort of ritual. Well, this has many Satanists mad as mad as heck. You're about to find out why. Carla LeVay is founder of the First Satanic Church. Welcome to you. Thank you. And we still have our attorneys with us. But first and foremost, why is it that you are so mad about Scott Peterson's defense team suggesting the satanic cult theory? Oh, for many reasons, because basically it is absolutely absurd. It is the last sort of thing that anyone is, who is, considers themselves a Satanist, whether or not they're an acting member or if they've just read my father's book, The Satanic Bible, it is stated in the Satanic Bible that in any rituals, and we do believe in the power of magic, but magic at one time, everything that is science was once considered magic. Okay. Just question to the audience. What do you think the first satanic church would believe in? What do you think they believe in? The devil. The devil? Evil. 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 Anything, wrong. Um, anything wrong? All right, Carla. Okay. What we, is do, it? we do not believe in an actual devil as an anthropomorphic deity that has horns and a tail. It doesn't take on any characteristics of man or beast. It's simply a name, a symbol that we use. Okay, now, Linda, can I, can I go ahead. On, on, on this notion that somehow the defense is wrong, it was doing something evil in even raising this, it defies logic and common sense for anyone to suggest that there are not people misguided, that there, are people, that there haven't been people in the past who in, in their warped sense of the satanic cult have committed crimes. That doesn't mean that this good woman or that, the, or that their religion is the cause of it, but there are people out there who have justified in their own minds doing horrible, horrible things. So it, 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 that may be where the defense is going, and it ultimately is going to be up for the jury to decide whether or not it raises a reasonable doubt. But there are people out there doing horrible things in any religion, and there are far fewer, if any, there are almost none that are... There has never been an account of anyone who has been a member of any organized satanic religion that has committed a crime. Okay, like now this. here is a question, because from the police report, as I understand it, there is a discussion, there is someone who told police that in that neighborhood where Lacey Peterson disappeared, she was abducted into a brown van, she was raped, and some sort of satanic ritual was performed. Therefore, is it not relevant? Taya. We don't have any kind of satanic ritual in which there is any kind of harm done to any living being. That's actually, I want to ask you about that in a second, but I asked him. Well, it, Go ahead. As far as investigating it from a prosecutor's perspective, it could be something to investigate. Is that ultimately something relevant to how he committed the crime? It depends. If you're saying that the defense theory is that someone else did it. Right. It was some satanic cult. It wasn't this guy. Okay, fine. That's not relevant. If but isn't it the obligation of the prosecution to investigate yes. it? Yes. The prosecution shouldn't yeah. come out of the box and say, because it may be somebody's religion, it's going to be hands off. We're not going to no, investigate that is correct. It. But then you have to weigh and determine whether it actually has any bearing down the line to something. But do you need to, I mean, do, do they even need to examine the bodies? Won't photos suffice? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It has nothing to do. It's not only because of the sat satanic cult. It's Issue. It could be for any cause of right. death. Every defense attorney, every defendant is entitled to look at all the evidence. That is Based correct. on that evidence, but then it'll determine where the But it is not common goes. to look at the bodies. You know, That's I'd be you. curious to know, Carla, if you have been contacted by police in this case. Well, actually, it would, it would yeah. mean that they're taking it seriously. No, and I haven't been contacted. And throughout my life, my, they have always come to my family. We've always shared any information, anything that anyone has sent to us in the mail that might lead to anything. Uh, my father was very much involved uh, in the police department. I myself have a degree in criminology. I've worked very closely with the police department. And there has been absolutely nothing. Okay. Which is pretty bizarre that being it has been raised already that they haven't even contacted her. It may, it may show that, the, that the, the police, the prosecution, really isn't keeping an open mind as to what happened in that case. Or perhaps it was already investigated and has been ruled out as uh, something that we should look further into. Uh -huh. Well, another part of what the defense is suggesting is that they, Lacey and Connor may have been killed by a satanic cult because there's something about sacrificing children. Do you think that that would be part of a, a satanic church, the satanic church? It might be. Hang on, let me get to you. I'm getting over there. Stand up. <laughs> Tell me why. Well, it depends. I mean, I, I'm not sure about what satanic uh, church beliefs you have, but it's possible that there are other people out there that, you know, like the gentleman on the right said, that just 
uh, that's the way they are. They want to go out and do these things, and they believe that's what they need to do in order to worship Satan. Okay, Carla, fill us in. Yes, a satanic cult is actually a contradiction in terms. Satanism is a philosophy that basically believes in living your life to the fullest. We don't believe necessarily that there is an afterlife, so we don't live for an afterlife. But what do you feel, what do you believe about children? And harming children. Because animals and small children are the greatest natural magicians that there are, and we would do absolutely nothing to harm them. And that is stated in the Satanic Bible. It's one of our basic tenets. But a madman out there in the name, in a warped sense, in the name of a satanic cult and well, religion then, no, may no do something horrible. There's no such thing as a satanic cult, because Satanism basically is all about rational free thinking. And we do not have cults. Cults are things like Jim Jones and Heaven's Gate. Right. We do not have anything that has anything to do with brainwashing. The say killing of anybody is, is inconsistent with the notion of rational We're, thinking. We are a law and order organization, and everyone that's a part of it knows it. Tay, you're sitting here watching these two like a <laughs> ping pong match. <laughs> hey, I, as a prosecutor, all I have to do is prove that he did it. If they're putting a theory to the jury, that in, that's preposterous in my point of view. So, so do, <laughs> it's too early. I think there's probably sufficient evidence. They have already gone through the evidence. They already put this before the grand jury. And so, you know, they're ready to go to trial. They're ready to show that this person is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. That's the burden. We don't have to go and disprove this theory about a satanic cult. That's okay, not. But the fact of the matter is, in this country, unfortunately, somebody who's arrested, Scott Peterson, anyone else, unfortunately is presumed guilty. And right now, everybody has an obligation, prosecutors, police, and even the public, to keep an open mind to see where this evidence really is going to go. But not everyone thinks that he is guilty. And I think that this is a red herring. I think that it is a very very good defense, actually, albeit ridiculous, on the part of Garagos, <laughs> because with all of the prejudice and ignorance, because people do not know what Satanism is all about. They don't understand that it's a philosophy with a group of people that are actually very talented um, individuals. They think that they're a bunch of devil-worshipping killers, which well, they are not. You have been kind enough to come in and fill us in on what your, your church really believes in. We thank you very much, Carla Levete and Robert. Thank you. Bye.